Speaking of restaurants, AI is now working its way into the industry as companies look for ways to become more efficient. Kate Rogers is more on that story. Kate. Hey, good morning, Melissa. Research from Cowan anticipates widespread adoption of AI for both voice ordering and kitchen robotics in the next 12 to 18 months for several reasons, including a tight labor backdrop and unionization risks. Now, restaurants that are or have tested the ordering technology include Yum! Brands, Carl's Jr., Hardee's, and McDonald's. For voice ordering, one key aspect of the technology is upselling consumers in a way that humans might not be comfortable doing and also freeing up time for workers to interact with guests. Panera is one company that's working with Open City AI to test out voice ordering, and it's also working with Miso Robotics using AI on its coffee to sure up quality and temperature control. So the two areas we're investing in is AI in our drive-through, um, which is really a voice-enabled uh, AI to help automate the ordering process and free up our associates to be able to focus on high-quality food production, as well as guest interaction in the cafe. The second is um, around our coffee um, uh, quality and temperature control. So a little less guest facing in terms of what they interact with, but they benefit from the result of that AI helping us pr produce and provide a better quality and more consistent product. Now, Chipotle has a similar use case with Chippy, also a Miso Robotics product. Its next iteration determines how many chips need to be made with AI technology. And speaking with tech executives from both of those companies, really the emphasis seems to be on freeing up time for workers to interact more with guests and ensure that they really do have a better experience. Back over to you. Kate, um, what are the, some of the downfalls and challenges in employing AI? You always hear of it as sort of like a panacea and, and the greatest thing since sliced bread. Yeah, Melissa, so a few things I'd list. Franchisees at bigger companies like a McDonald's or uh, Restaurant Brands International all getting on board and agreeing that it works. So that's one thing. Language models was another thing that was brought up to me by Cowan. They're tough to train not only uh, in literally what language you're speaking, but also on the nuances of the menu and ordering. So you really have to have a well-trained language model there that understands uh, all of that around customization. And that changes restaurant roles as well in certain capacities. So what does that look like for workers? No one wants to be first, right, because they want to get it right. But um, Andrew Charles like Cowan did mention to me that this kind of looks like what third party delivery looks like about five years ago, right? Everyone was thinking about it. Some brands were testing it out. And guess what? It's everywhere now with the exception of McDonald's, which of course, or, uh, Domino's rather, which doesn't work with those third party aggregators. Um, so everyone kind of thought about it and then jumped in in a big way. And he expects AI to be the same thing. Yeah, I was actually thinking of Domino's, Kate, because they were really first uh, in terms of automating a lot of, of what how they do things. And uh, you know, is Domino's out there as sort of a leader here? I'm sure they're thinking about it, but Domino's also, you have to consider, looks at this as kind of like a tech pipeline where things will be around for a really long time. And again, I don't think anyone wants to be first, Melissa. I think people really want to think about it in a very thoughtful way and get it right and make sure that not only are customers happy with what they're seeing, but also workers, right? Because this tight labor market is also a key factor here. This can make things better. You want to keep workers happy, uh, but the AI and the technology needs to be working in a way that works for them, right? So that they don't up and quit because they don't like what's going on.